seven German foods that put American foods to shame. Let's take a look. Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins and this is React with Hugs. I want to see how he reacts when he thinks no one's watching. I can't help it if he's weird. He's American. He's going crazy with that work. Everybody reacts differently. I think he's weird, but that's me. He's American, you know. Welcome to React with Hugs. Let's hop straight into today's comment of the day. So today's comment of the day comes from KiwiHawk2563. And they say, I seen this video on another YouTube. This guy, me, just copy it for himself. I wish he would just shut the hell up and let the video flow. Nope, he keeps stopping it. Dot, dot, dot. Have his little say in it. Guys, guys. A round of applause, please. Come, everybody, everybody sitting at home, if you're watching at home, everybody join me in a round of applause, welcoming Kiwi Hawk. Come on. Round of applause. Come on. Kiwi Hawk, welcome. Everybody, welcome Kiwi Hawk. It's their first day on the internet. <laughs> Guys, it's their first day on the internet. Come on. Kiwi Hawk, welcome to the internet. Welcome, my friend. This is actually such this, this is such a special moment to share with somebody. It's Kiwi Hawk's first time on the internet. They, it has to be the first time on the internet. Uh, it has to be because they don't know what a reaction video is. So, man, dude, seriously, that is, this is a special moment, guys. Please help me welcoming Kiwi Hawk to the internet. Thank you, Kiwi Hawk, for choosing to spend your time with us on the internet, and I hope that you have a great and lovely time exploring the World Wide Web. At any rate, thank you for the comment. Welcome once again, but let's get into today's reaction. So this is how you know that I am slowly turning German. If you don't know, I'm living in Germany. I'm in Baden-Württemberg. I live here in Germany. And sticking with the age-old German tradition of watching content about Germany, even though I live here in Germany, I'm going to be checking out today seven German foods that put American food to shame. Now, like I said, I live in Germany, so I know a lot of German food, not all German food, obviously. I'm not as well versed as a native German, but I know the major German foods, at least most of the major German foods. And I would suspect that Miss Haley Alexis will be listing most of the major German foods, but I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out together. If I had to pick a few of my favorite German foods, obviously, Döner, obviously, Schnitzel, obviously, Rotwurst, obviously, Leberkäse Wecken, mit Senf, obviously, beer. <laughs> I mean, yeah, anyways, there's a lot of awesome German food, obviously, obviously. But we're going to explore what Haley Alexis, who is an American, has to say about it. So let's see what her list of great German food actually is, shall we? Los Gates! I mean, they're popular, and we have something like the pita pit, which is not similar. <laughs> oh, she's talking about Derner there. Hello, everyone. What is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey, guys. So it's been a long time since I made Hi. a sit down video where I'm going to talk, so that means time to, for me to do some spring cleaning <laughs> because it's spring. YouTube has now made it to where you guys can do the um, translation for me if you want to on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you to the people that have actually been doing it on some videos or like two videos that people did. I said, how did y'all do this? How did, you, how did you guys have the time to do this? Thank you. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. People that are watching a YouTube video can translate it for other people? Like subtitles? Huh? Is that a thing on YouTube? Guys, I've been doing YouTube for damn near 10 years. I didn't know that that's how it worked. That's you insane. You guys have no idea how easy how did I not this know makes that? my life when you guys translate the videos. So thank you so much, hmm. especially to the people like the German people. Thank you so much that translated from English to German because it helps me so much because so many of my viewers are German and I know that I speak really fast sometimes or I say some really crazy hardcore English words or slang that you guys wouldn't understand. So for the people okay. that do it to German, thank you. So today's video is going to be about seven Dude. German foods that put... Has anyone, has, have any of you guys ever translated any of my videos? I don't even know. Dude, this is blowing my mind right now. 
Americans okay, anyways, let's get into the good stuff. I think most of y'all already know what some of them are. Let's start. The number one thing, and number I one, think this on every one. I, I don't know. It's like this one and another one are Bread. like Pretzels. neck and neck with each other. But I'm going to put this one as number one because it's an actual food and it's not something Beer. that you drink. But Beer. the number one thing is the bread here. Beer. The bread oh. here takes the cake for almost anywhere in the world I think that I've ever been to. There's bread. No bread is good in Germany. I'm not much of a bread guy. If you've watched the channel enough, I say it all the time. I'm not a bread guy. So German bread, American bread, I get it. German has the, the bread that's like the real ingredients, all natural, all that stuff. That's great. I'm not a bread guy. I drink my bread, as we say in Germany. I drink it. I drink beer. I drink liquid bread, okay? I will eat bread products and bread byproducts with copious amounts of other stuff with a lot of meat. Leberkäse wecken. Rotwurst. Schnitzel? Schnitzel has a little bit of breadcrumbs around it. Stuff like that. But I'm not a big bread guy outside of just plain old bread, you know? Derner. Derner has a bread byproduct. So stuff like that. I'll eat bread. But bread in general, not my favorite thing. Although I do understand that it's very good in Germany. I understand. I mean, the white bread that we have in America, or even the bread at Panera that people think is amazing, has nothing here with the Panera sucks. bakeries. Oh, if you've never had a Kürbis canister. Dude, Panera is a chain restaurant in America. I don't know if you guys have it here in Germany. I can't remember if I've seen any here, but dude, Panera sucks. Panera is like, yeah, I don't know. I guess a crappy German bakery, but it's like a chain in America. <laughs> Dude, they were serving... Hold on a second. Panera Bread Lemonade. Panera Bread Lemonade Caffeine. Dude, they were serving what they called charged lemonade, which was lemonade with caffeine in it. 236 milligrams of caffeine in a large lemonade. Cup of coffee caffeine. Okay, so a cup of coffee, 100 grams of coffee has 40 milligrams of caffeine. Dude, <laughs> one of these lemonades is like drinking six coffees. Six. People died from drinking this lemonade. That's Panera Bread. Anyways, um, <laughs> back on track. With a little bit of butter and salt, you're just That's not my living Panera story. Life. Seriously, I've eaten more bread in maybe a year of living in Germany than I have in my whole entire life. Like the rest of the 20-something years that I lived in America, I've eaten more bread here in this one year. That's why I've been gaining so much weight and potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> and this includes cinnamon, pretzels, the pretz... <laughs> I just don't want to see baked goods <laughs> in general put anything in America to shame. The hell, this white jiffy bread that we have, I don't know even what the name of it is. I think it's wonder bread I'm toast sure it's wonder in germany it's called toast in germany which like i eat the real german bread stuff i eat the american toast bread stuff i eat all the different bread stuff in different situations still and yeah i don't have i don't have the refined fancy palate to care about the difference between the two to be honest i just don't maybe i'm weird i don't know bread's just not my thing wonder bread that stuff oh Gosh, horrible. The next thing is going to be the beer, and this is a no-brainer. The beer here is amazing. I do not drink beer in the United States. The like liquid I bread. I don't drink a Budweiser. I don't drink a Miller Lite. I don't drink a Coors Light. I don't drink Good. anything. I don't even drink yeah, Corona. Yeah, they all suck. No, it's not from the United States. Tegansi, Tegansia, Kimsia, Giesinger, Augustina, Paulana. And I actually sometimes, you know, I'm just craving uh -huh. a nice, hefty, hearty beer. Banana Weizen. What about Banana Weizen? I remember like my first week here in Germany or maybe like my second week. I don't know. Something like that. I had a freaking Banana Weizen and I was like, is this what people drink here? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad, but it's like, dude, banana drink with beer inside. I was like, I was blown away. Just it was to let crazy. y'all know that Haley is down with it. The next one is going to be a Derna. I'm always eating one. They're Derna amazing. Kebab. We just haven't, of course. in the United States, we haven't gotten the um, kebab thing down. I mean, mm -hmm, they're popular, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we have something like the pita pit, which is not similar. <laughs> That's like the only thing I can 
really compared to. I mean, some places yeah. have kebabs. Like in New York, you're gonna have them. In Miami, you're gonna have them. But in normal cities, like even yeah. smaller towns here, they have them. They're just really amazing. Yeah, you can get them in big cities in America. When me and Issa were living in America, we went to LA and we got Derner in LA. And it was fine. It was good. But obviously, in Germany, it's like every street corner has a Derner kebab place. <laughs> it's awesome. Amazing. I mean, the meat is just so good. I don't know. We just haven't gotten... We're not to par with the German kebabs. Käsespätzle, yeah. which is basically like... Um... Ooh, Käsespätzle. Um, I like it. I don't love it. Please don't crucify me in the comments section. But Käsespätzle is, to me, a bread byproduct. And like I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of bread byproducts. The cheese part, love the cheese. But the noodle part, not the biggest fan. So I do like it, but it's not my favorite. Um, the equivalent would be macaroni and cheese for the United States, but it's yeah. not. Oh my god, it's like little noodles or dumplings i don't know what the keys are dough like that's boiled super amazing. fat and noodles oh, they have cheese and cream fried onions mostly on top and it's just so yeah. good. now <laughs> she's like about the to macaroni cry. And cheese from your grandma who puts her foot in it and like licks her finger and sticks it in there with a little bit of love and like a half i am not eating my grandmother's foot macaroni and cheese what the heck are you talking about stick of butter and all that stuff then okay that's amazing but the stuff that you get in a box or the stuff that you get in like a cup? No. I think that in Germany, yeah. what they've learned to do is that less is more. In America, we always like to have like the most of everything, the most seasoning, the biggest portion in, of everything. And here they've learned like, you don't really need a lot of seasoning or a lot of ingredients to make something really good. That's my personal yeah. opinion. I don't, don't need a lot of seasoning to make something good. Throw a little salt on it, call it a day. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's just my personal opinion. Be spatsy. Y'all are know that my spatsy, spatsy is easy. No, we don't have spatsy in the United States. I know you guys. Guys, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by this list because it makes it seem like I don't enjoy anything in my life. But I don't, I don't drink soda. I'm not a soda drinker. I don't like soda. I don't drink Coke, Pepsi, Spetsy, anything. I, I don't drink any soda unless there's whiskey in it. That changes the drink for me, though. If there's whiskey in it, that changes the drink. But I don't just I don't just drink soda. So, man, this list is <laughs> it makes it seem like I hate everything, but I don't. Like I, love, I love food. You guys can't believe that we don't have Spetsy in the United States. I've been to Spetsy. a bunch of states, you guys, and I've never had Spetsy. You guys see, you make Fanta with Coke. It does not taste the same. I don't think it's made with Coke or with Fanta here, as most of you guys have told me. It's made with like an orange lemonade or an orange juice type thing, and there's more cola ratio than half. It's like more than 50% Coke. The Coke in the United States tastes um, very different than the Coke in Germany. It's really, really sweet in the United mm. States. When I went back, I could not drink a whole bottle of Coke or even a small can of Coke, it was too sweet for me. It just, it doesn't taste oh. the same. Especially a Polonish Spitzi, you wouldn't be able to get this anywhere in the United States. Maybe I need to try soda here in Germany because part of the reason why I don't like soda in America growing up my whole life is because it was too sweet for me. I also didn't like how much carbonation there was. So if it was like less carbonation and maybe a little bit less sweet, then maybe I would like soda. I don't know, but my whole life I just never drank soda. Currywurst. And you would think... You Currywurst. Know Ooh. Now we're talking my language. Give me that meat, boy. Oh, I love currywurst. Land of That's hot my dogs favorite. Of One of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. Hot dogs, we would be but, able to ooh. master a currywurst or have anything that's similar mm. to it. Just think of like a bratwurst, you guys. Like a sausage, a brat, a brat, a brat sausage with, and then cut up with curry ketchup and curry powder and french fries. It's so good. You would think this would be such a like a wonderful selling item in the United States, especially at yeah. basketball, football, any type of sport event. This would be such a good high seller. I mean, this tastes amazing, yeah. but they haven't really brought it over, which yeah. is... Yeah, bro, we got to bring it over. Currywurst is my go-to when I'm at like any sort of festival, any sort of fair, any sort of carnival type of thing, maybe a flow mart with a little food stand or something, anything like that. I'm going beelining straight for the food. I'm getting currywurst or rotwurst for sure. Of course, it's the best. 
which is really confusing to me. America, they don't know what's happening. They don't know what to do with their life. They're, <laughs> they need to get it together. I'm trying to be the food ambassador here. I'm gonna be the Martha Stewart of Germany. Wait, no. That's wrong. We're just going to leave this out of the video. The last and final point, you guys. You didn't leave it out of the video. Germany has just beaten us, USA of uh, everything. They Schnitzel. have beaten us in their potato salad is the bomb.com. Ooh, Kartoffeln salat is so good. I don't know what you put into the potato salad here, but it tastes like, man. I'm so uncultured. I don't even know how I don't even know how to talk like a food critic, but it's like sour or something. Ah, that's probably not right. What are the words I'm looking for? I don't know. There's definitely a secret ingredient in there though, because typically kartoffeln salat in America tastes like potatoes. Kartoffeln salat in Germany tastes like potatoes with like some sort of sea like seasoning or something like a sour or some kind of seasoning or something i don't know what the words are that i'm looking for but there's something in there you guys know what i'm talking about there's something in there it's just different and it's it's way better in my opinion mm. I love it. I love it so much. I'll say this over and over. Definitely Even, one of okay, my favorites. you guys have chewed my ass out before. I already know the vinegar. I mayonnaise now with other places and all this stuff. But I mean, that's what it um, is. Potato salad. I could have just watched the video for two extra seconds. There's vinegar in it. That is a game changer, dude. That might seem like common knowledge, but. I'm telling you right now, that is a game changer, man. That that makes it so much better. Oh, mayonnaise now, and it tastes so much better than the potato salad in America. I, in the United States, I have yeah. never at any barbecue, at any family function, at any Thanksgiving, at any Christmas, at any birthday, at any holiday, at any Martin Luther King Jr. barbecue that I've been to have never tasted potato salad that tastes like the ones in Germany. It's so yeah. good, you guys. Unless yeah. your grandma is German and she lives in the United States and she's making you a homemade recipe, it will not taste the same. If you're buying it from a German yeah. restaurant, maybe it tastes the same, but I highly doubt that as well because they've probably been Americanized. They're just trying to... Dude, I'm lucky. Where I'm from in America has a little tiny German cafe. It's like half cafe, half restaurant. It's a really small place in like basically somebody's house. And the story is a little old German lady moved from Germany to my little neck of the woods in America, in Pennsylvania, America. Started this little restaurant with all of her German recipes and she has authentic German cuisine, German recipes in my neck of the woods in America. And she passed all those recipes down to her son who now owns this place and they do a great job of making real authentic German Kartoffelsalat and other stuff too, but Dude, being able to get my fix when I'm back in the states of my kartoffeln a lot. Oh, it's very, very much appreciated. It's not good when I go without my kartoffeln salad. Anyways, let's continue. Please people and cater to people's needs of the United States, which means more fattening food. I'm so hungry. I need to eat something. So. Yes, I think that was it. I'm As you hungry. guys can tell, I'm hungry <laughs> and I want to eat something. But I decided to do a video, something a little bit different. Do a little comparison again, you guys. But yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy spring fruitlings. And I love you all. Thank you for watching. And bye bye. Okay, wow. A pretty good list. Um, things that weren't mentioned. Schnitzel, huge famous German dish that is obviously incredible, not mentioned on this list. But I mean, you can't put everything on the list. If it's just seven things, that's gonna be hard to narrow it down, so it's understandable. Though that does beg the question, if you could redo this list, or if you could add to this list, what would you add? What are some of the best German foods that weren't mentioned in this video? Let's see if we can get a list of the best German foods, the foods that only Germany can do correctly and put America to shame, let me know down in the comments below. At any rate though, that's all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for being here and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.